Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to be talking about Baskin Bloom today. So, I don't know if you know the story, it used to be lace, I guess, before. As lace, I really liked the ease leave-in, but I never got around to really trying some of the other stuff, so I was really excited, I think, last Black Friday, I think, to finally pick up kind of everything. Just, I mean, more of the line. <laughs> I'm not bad. I got cleanser, deep conditioner, leave-in, a cream, and then recently I got the gel, so I bought everything except the gel that she sent to me. I guess she sent to people in her Facebook group. Again, my video is coming up on how to get free products. So I'm going to show you my wash day with all of these products. Just take a look at my demo. <laughs> so I'm starting off on the tangled hair, starting with the Gentle Herbal Cleanser Shampoo. So it's really dark in color, which is interesting. I've never used a shampoo that color. But I guess color doesn't matter, it's more about how it works, and I didn't mind the color at all. So I just put a lot, as you can see, just to give it a full test to make sure it's not stripping, because that's the main issue I have with shampoos. And then I rinsed it out, kind of raking my hands through my hair while rinsing to cleanse my hair. So this is the result after rinsing. It's not stripped at all. You can see that my curls are still there. My hair is super soft. It's definitely clean. This is the most touchable hair I've ever had after shampoo, so I'm just loving it. And next is the Brahmi Root Hair Mask Deep Conditioner. It's really thick, as you can see. <laughs> so I just work it in as I normally do. And due to it being so thick, I add a little bit of water to just help distribute it more. Because you know me already, thick products in my hair, I need help distributing it, so I added some water. The results were instant, which I love. As soon as I finished putting it on, my hair felt soft already and deep conditioned already, hydrated already, so I was just loving it. And as great as that was, after that it sit for 30 minutes, it was even better. So my hair just felt great then, like I didn't even think there was a better, but hmm, like it was just amazing afterwards. So my hair was even more hydrated, even more defined, even more moisturized, even softer. I really love this deep conditioner, I can't wait to buy more. <laughs> I rinsed it out. After rinsing, my hair was defined and soft and moisturized. Usually, I detangle with conditioner in my hair just to show you guys. This is me detangling after rinsing, so this is another first. My hair was so soft that after rinsing my hair, I could still run my fingers through without hitting any tangles. So that was pretty amazing. So next up, I start my wash and go. So this is the Ease Leave-In, the new version. As you can see, it's pretty thick. So again, with the distribution, I had to add a little bit of water after adding the product just to make sure that I was able to distribute it everywhere. This one is thicker and richer and creamier. So it's still a moisturizing product. The definition was still great and everything like that. So if you're not crazy like me and you don't have a thing for runny products, this is a great leave-in to try. So next up is the Silky Aloe Pudding. So it is more of a butter, like it feels like a whipped shea butter and I'm looking at the ingredients, it is mostly butters and oils. It does have some aloe, but it works great as a sealant, so it definitely is a sealant and if you like sealants then you should definitely give it a try. And next up is the Twilly Hair Gel, so you know I love gels, I love trying new gels, so I was super excited to try this gel. It's an interesting texture, it's not slimy, it's not super slimy, but it's not super thick or anything, it's just an interesting texture. It's a really light and really moisturizing gel, but it did do its thing to define my curls and reduce frizz and everything like that, so I was super happy with this gel as well. So this is the last section, this is my hair before I apply any product and I'm just going to repeat the steps from before adding the Ease Leave-In, the Silky Aloe Curl Pudding and the Twilly Hair Gel.
this is my result after adding the ease leave-in you can see how nicely defined my hair is and next up is the silky aloe pudding which like I said is kind of like a whipped butter in effect I'll discuss that and show you more about that in my next video in my review video this is before I add the gel so when I'm doing a no gel wash and go I guess I just leave it like this but I'm trying out the twirly hair gel so this gel is really moisturizing and had great slip and everything I had no complaints at all with applying this gel no issues breaking through or anything like that So this is the result after applying the gel. And all I do next is just do my shake and that's it. So I'm all done with my wash day. Wash day was definitely a success. And now it's just time to let it dry. see you in a bit as you can see I really enjoyed this wash day I want to do a full review on my channel coming up next so I don't talk too much about it but you can see the cleanser was amazing the deconditioner was amazing uh, <laughs> I really like to leave it I'm just wondering if I prefer the previous one which it doesn't matter because it's gone anyway but I really love the previous lace leave-in and this one I like the aloe pudding was interesting. One of my friends really likes it, but it was a little bit thick for me. I can see it being a good sealant for somebody with like high porosity hair or somebody who likes sealants. So I would definitely give this a try. They all gave me good moisture. I like the gel. It was moisturizing. First off, no crunch. Second off, it's defined. It is also frizzy, but it's pretty defined as you can see. So it's just a really light, really tight curl, really moisturized, really fluffy wash and go. Really soft, like no crunch. But there's a hole, I can feel the hole. Like not a hard hole, but it's just there, like you know, Camille Rose or something. It is like a natural kind of curl, which means that it's kind of like your natural curl pattern is going to be kind of what it shows. But it really does enhance and highlight and moisturize and add shine and so on to your natural curl pattern. So if you like your curls, and you want an all natural gel to hold it and moisturize it and define it and shine it and bling it a little bit then this would be a good gel for you so that was it i hope you enjoyed my wash day i hope you enjoyed seeing my result definitely check out baskin bloom i do love the owner i love the line it's really healthy really good products really moisturizing products clean products and they really work well on my hair so this is definitely something for you to try next Black Friday or just follow her on Instagram and see when next she has a sale. She has a 30% off, 33% off sale pretty regularly. So if you follow her on Instagram, you should be able to catch her next sale. And her products are really good. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!